I'll be calling you a radical. This is an extremely important video. There's so much breaking news out on the Fukushima dynamic. Oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. I never thought that I would ever agree with Bill O'Reilly on anything. But Bill O'Reilly's exactly right. What media has turned into is tell them what you, they want to hear. That's all it is. It's unbelievable. Journalism is extinct. So I need to talk first about the drought, then we're going to get to Fukushima, Fukushima. See that sandbar that comes down off the mighty Van Loman? When we were kids, I went to Weber High School up there. We'd always argue, will there be houses ever built on that? You know, and we'd have our keg parties and whatever. They, they're trying to build houses, but it's the 19th of April. And... I've never seen snow on that sandbar in late March for an extended period. It's so cold here. You haven't even seen flooding yet. You, it hasn't even started. So now that I got that out of the way, let's talk about this. So, yeah, fuck, CNN. Oh, my God, they make me sick. So CNN is out today. Now, remember, CNN talk Fukushima more than any news outlet in the world when the tsunami happened. Anderson Vanderbilt Cooper and Sanjay Gupta went to Fukushima, Japan. They were there for six days. All we heard was, are these meltdowns, are these meltdowns, are these, and they had this guy from Jim Welch, this MIT, was not a nuclear physicist, was not a nuclear bio, wasn't a nothing. You know, as supposedly the expert, you know, should we get out? Anderson Manor Cooper, Sanjay Gupta must have said nuclear energy meltdowns thousands of times. The wind shifted on day six. They, without it telling anybody, they came home. Never mentioned Fukushima again. Sanjay Gupta, two weeks after that, on his show, Sanjay Gupta, MD, brought in the 11 year innuendo. I put up the transcript. They took it down. I kept asking people. Somebody leaked it to me. I got it up again. And on his propaganda machine, they had this young artist from Michigan. I went to Chernobyl and found out there's nothing wrong at Chernobyl, blah, blah, blah. And you can look it up on the 25th of March, 2011. He brings in this doctor. I found out radiation isn't bad for you in Japan. It's actually good for And brings up the 11-year-old innuendo. You know, 11-year-old is folding paper cranes. I mean, it's so disturbing. They don't mention it again. They don't mention it for 12 years. They don't mention it. For 12 years, they don't mention it. Till today. Today, get this. Now, you can believe who you want to believe. Because I'll post both articles. So, CNN saying that the Fishing industry overcame the Fukushima disaster, and now it's regulations in Tokyo. It's going to blah, blah. And they go in, and they start putting grass up, and they talk talking about testing for radiation in the early days was testing high numbers, but yet the ocean currents have diluted it. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I did so much work. Here's media all over, including Reuters, including BBC, reporting that the Japanese Fishing Alliance one year ago right now, in 2022, independently tested their rockfish, and they were coming up at 1,400 becquerels per kilogram of cesium-137. How many? That's 14 times over the raised legal limits in Japan. I mean, if you go back to what the legal limits were in 2011, that's well over 100 times. And this is cesium, that, this is the short half-life heavy metal. This isn't, you know, all the other byproducts that come along with this. And it's widely reported. And then CNN's telling you, nope, nope, there's no radiation fission. It hasn't been for uh, 10, 11 years. Yet they're saying, here we go. We, we've tested. Show me your tests, CNN. So it gets better. So, you know, I know Amy personally, democracy now. I know her personally. Go ask her. She took on Fukushima area and just dropped it. And me and her gotten a little spat about it. At the Helen Caldecott Symposium, 
you know, you know, Helen told me I couldn't use a Fukushima word in 2015. But anyway, she's talking Indian Point today. I got my old Indian Point shirt on. We'll flip the soup can and I'll take it off. My jacket, it's cold. And so, talking about dumping the water into the Hudson. Fuck. They've been dumping the water out of the fucking Indian Point in the Hudson for fucking... 30, 40 years, please. But you won't talk about the Fukushima. So get this, get this. It gets better. Mother Jones, of all people, has an article out today. Why are we so afraid of nuclear energy and just goes off propagating nuclear energy? Okay, okay. Not one time do they mention Fukushima. Now stay with me, stay with me. Let's talk technology. You want to try nuclear biology. You want to try nuclear physics, you want to talk the whole complex, try me, try me, try me, try me, I'll eat your lunch, breakfast and dinner, try me, just try me, I mean, that, that's why none of them will debate me, none of them will interview me, none of them, because they know I'll eat them up, try me, so, Let's talk about this. Germany, as you know, has shut down their last nuclear reactors in, let me get my soup can out. God, I can't believe. They've shut down their nuclear reactors. Okay. So, when they shut them down, giant rallies, they've been rallying the whole time. I've been over there, I've rallied with them. <coughs> One word, Fukushima. They had big banners this weekend out, Fukushima. So tell me, Mother Jones, CNN, Angela Merkel was a nuclear physicist. German, Scientists, German technology has always been on the cutting edge. They've always been most likely the best on earth. It's unarguable. They're always out front on all technologies. They always have been. German engineering is impeccable. Is it impeccable? They have a long, stoic, incredible history of incredible technology. They're always on the cutting edge. Well, they say no nuclear energy. Yet Mother Jones says yes, nuclear energy. CNN says, oh, the fish is okay. Yet the South China Reuters BBC says, no, it's not. It blows my mind after all these years. And Amy in Democracy Now!, she's going to talk about... <coughs> Indian Point, all the work I did at Indian Point. I mean, I'm not a radio guy. I mean, go ask Finnegan. You know how many times I've had guns in my face at Indian Point in my life? So, there's no rest. So you believe who you're going to believe, okay? Who are you going to believe? Who are you going to believe? You're going to believe CNN? You know, like I said, I never thought that I would actually agree with Bill O'Reilly. And by the way, I have a hook with Bill O'Reilly. Go ask him. <coughs> You know, Bill O'Reilly used to be heavily involved in, with the likes of Megan Rice and Madeline Rice and the Catholic workers' rights. You know, Dorothy Day, he's a Dorothy Day, he, you know, remember when he was on John Stewart? There was a Colbert, it was a Colbert, I believe, and he says, well, you know, Stephen, it's all an act. And Colbert's great line, you're an act, what am I? Media, there is no. I mean, it's it's heartbreaking. Let's flip your soup can. One man band isn't blanched, and it really doesn't matter how many people it's again. Got my Indian point. But they're all worried about Holtec dumping into the Hudson. What about Fukushima? So Up all the protesting, all the work that I've done. Try me. I'm the world's foremost expert on this. Try me. 
No one can even come close. It's unbelievable. This is the greatest PhD in human history. Boots on the ground. Try me on any one of these reactors in the world. Try me. Try me on the tide pools. Try me on the salmon class. Try me on, I mean, the ignoring of Fukushima. You won't even use the word, Mother Jones. Are you kidding me? Oh, why are you afraid? One word, Fukushima. Oh, there's millions of houses for sale in Japan. 11 million. There's 11 million empty houses in Japan. That has nothing to do with Fukushima. Oh, doesn't it? Oh, doesn't it? So I got my eyes. So here we have CNN, Anderson, Vanderbilt, Cooper, and Sanjay are there. They say Fukushima how many times? Thousand. Yet they don't say it again. Is that even possible? Because, but like Bill O'Reilly said today on the Fox News thing, all it's turned into is tell them what they want to hear. That's all. That's all YouTube is. That's all alternate media is. That's all. That's exactly what all it is. Journalism went extinct in 1999, right before the freaking Bush Gore election. It's sad. It's pathetic. How everybody is hypnotized. Branded and it's nothing but dogma reinforcement TV. That's all it is. It's sick. It's sick. A person like Kevin Blanche, who's dedicated his whole life to it, I don't eat, sleep, drink it. I sleep with it. Everything I've been through, all the activism I've done, every the boots on the ground freaking work, it's staggering, yet no one will interview me. No one will even debate me. Nobody will even give me a platform. I don't know. It's disturbing. It's disgusting. So you tell me. I'll post a link. This is widely reported all over the world last year at this time. Japanese were fishing alliance is way off the coast. You think it's over? You think it went away, CNN? You think these reactors are done? They've never got close to these cores. Never. I named it Demo Argentina syndrome in the early days, right here. Remember I stood right here? <laughs> you don't believe them. Don't believe them. And if you believe one bit of the media, just remember this. Pat Tillman fought up 9 million I kind of lies. Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Lies. George W. Bush won the election. Lies. Just remember, remember I stood here right here and said all that? Remember, there I said, here I am all those years later saying exactly. Just remember years later what Kevin Flash said right here. Don't believe one word they're talking on Fukushima. These are full blown out car meltdowns. They got no clue. And they burrowed into the freaking ocean and the earth. And all they're going to do is lie. Play back the tape, Your Honor. All the field work I've done, freaking dead type, but what credit do I get? I don't get shit. It's fucking mind boggling to me. Fucking, I mean, it's heartbreaking. There is no media in this country. In Germany, you can look at the banners they had. What do they say? Fukushima. Okay, Mother Jones. Okay, CNN. So you're telling me the German engineers, the German technology, the German scientists, they know shit. <laughs> when we've all been told and taught for years, and it's been proven over and over, that Germany is always on the forefront of any technology. Always has been. Always. Yeah, not now. This time, they're dumbasses, huh? No, I don't think so. They're right. They shut them down. You know, the propaganda machine against them? They stood up against her. So who are you going to believe? Here's CNN who won't mention Fukushima for 12 fucking years. When they said it thousands of times. Cooper and Gupta. Thousands. They play back the tape. They put the transcript up on Shanshay Gupta, MD, you know, and then they pulled it down. I went crazy. I did hundreds of videos about it. Somebody leaked it to me. I put it out. They're reporting... We're talking 4,400 days later, over 4,400 days later. They're mentioning Fukushima. Oh, they survived it. Hello, have you seen the salmon numbers on the freaking Pacific Ocean? CNN, have you looked at them? You know, it's all emergency clothes. We had record return. Just a coincidence. But yeah, they survived it. Nobody survived it. 
you know, cancer rates, longevity heading south, typhoons wipe out 2012, just wasting disease, that's all. That's well, I got news for you. In science, there is no coincidence. In science, we have 10 years of data now. We have well data. We have fish data. We have salmon data. We have tide pool data. We have it all. You can plug it into a computer regressionary model, and I don't care what model you use, it will show that this radical acute class on the Pacific Ocean, including the fire bubbles of the Western United States, all happened in 2011. All of it. That's called an outlier in science. So you can deny the reality of it all. You can deny Kevin Lynch's work all the fuck you want. The bottom line is something radical crazy changed and happened in 2011 to our ecology. Did a meteor hit the Pacific Ocean? Hell, we, we're testing. I just showed you. They are testing. It's like, what's her name? Said, go to the old Marine, his site. He's been tracking radiation freaking numbers since Fukushima. They're off the hook. The data's right there in your face. I gave it to you. I did all the field work. Why am I full of cancer? Did all the type of work. I've done all the salmon work. I've done it all. And my work has been verified over and over and over by all kinds of the starfish class verified. The salmon class acute verified. Everything I said, I'll verify. First you want positive knowledge. Then you do the field work. I did 12 years of field work. Then you defend your work. And then they're gonna regurgitate this shit. This is the most heartbreaking fucking thing in the world. I mean, I can't believe it. I was thinking about it today. The work that I put in, the work that I've done. What credit did I get? So you can believe who you want to fucking believe. You know, I'll post both articles. Oh, it's all good. CNN says so. And I wouldn't even mention the word Fukushima for 12 years. Yet, all the other media is showing that the fish are testing 1,400 becquerels per kilogram of cesium-137. That's 14 times over the legal limit. The raised legal limit. <laughs> Fuck, it's unfucking believable. So, Mother Jones says uh, nuclear energy is good. I guess Germany doesn't know shit. They don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Andrew Merkel was a nuclear physicist, you know. So, I had a funeral for the nuclear industry. It's dead, but the propaganda machine sure the hell ain't. And the pork, they're floating out. And I never thought I'd agree with Bill O'Reilly with anything. Boy, is he dead on today. All's media is, all's Fox News, all any of them are, is tell them what they want to hear. That's all it is. Sad. Sad. It's pathetic what this country's done. <laughs> Stay in tune.